What are the angles formed by second and tangent lines? Find out in this video. discuss the angles formed by seconds and tangent lines. So as a recap, when we say tangent, it is a line, a ray, or a segment that intersects a circle at exactly one point. And when we say second, it is a line, a ray, or a segment that intersects the circle at exactly two points. Now let's discuss the theorems concerning the angles formed by second and tangent lines. So the first theorem, if two seconds intersect at the interior of the circle, the measure of an angle formed is one half the sum of the measure of its intercepted arcs. Now let's discuss the first theorem. So the first theorem ay involved dito ay dalawang second lines. So in this case, yung dalawang second lines natin would be uh, yung second lines natin dito ay uh, T R or R T. And we also have U S. So, mapapansin natin yung dalawang second lines natin ay nag-intersect sa point W in which yung point W ay nasa interior ng circle. So, what if we are going to look for the value of this angle? How are we going to solve for this angle? So, we're going to find the measurement of angle R W S okay. So let us say this is 50 degrees and this is 60 degrees So suppose yung given natin is yung measurement ng R R S is equal to 50 degrees and yung measurement naman ng R U T is equal to 60 degrees then we're going to look for the measurement of angle R W, S. So, based on theorem natin, all we need to do to look for or to solve for this uh, missing angle ay i-add lang natin yung dalawang intercepted arcs niya. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nito yung arc na sa harap niya at yung sa pabilang banda. Okay? So, then, we're going to add them and divide it by 2. So, it would become M or the measurement of angle R, W, S is just one half of the sum of its intercepted arcs. Again, yung dalawang intercepted arcs natin ay sina arc and arc uh, ut. Okay? So all we need to do is to substitute lang yung mga given natin. So we have one half. Yung measurement ng arc arc is 50 degrees. So magdedepende na tayo dun sa binigay na mga measurements. Then we have UT, we have 60 degrees. And we're going to add them. So we have 50 plus 60 degrees that would be equal to 110 degrees. So, kukunin natin yung kalahati niya. 1 half times 110 degrees, that would be equal to 55 degrees. So it follows na yung angle RWS is equal to 55 degrees. And the second theorem states that if two seconds intersect at the exterior of the circle, then the measure of an angle form is one half the positive difference of the measure of the intercepted arc. So let's have an example for our second theorem. So kung sa first theorem, yung point of intersection nila ay nasa interior ng circle. Dito naman sa second theorem, yung point of intersection nila ay nasa exterior ng circle. So, second lines or dalawang second lines pa rin yung involved dito. So, based sa figure natin, this is circle A. Yung dalawang second lines natin ay sina line FB and line FE. Okay? So, sila yung mga second lines natin. And yung point of intersection nila ay nasa exterior ay nasa exterior point na point F. Okay? So, sa point F ay nasa labas na circle. Now, if the measurement of arc BE, halimbawa ito daw, 
Itong arc na ito is equal to 135 degrees. And the measurement of arc CD, ito namang arc na ito, CD, it would become 40 degrees. Then, what would be the degree measurement of angle B, F, E? So, yung hinahanap natin na angle is yung angle dito. So, pag ito na yung... Uh, Pag ito yung angle na na-form ng dalawang second lines, yung angle ay nasa labas, ang kukunin lang natin, ang gagawin lang natin is that we're going to get the positive difference of the two intercepted arcs then divided by 2. So kung kanina, nag-add tayo this time, we're going to get the difference. So para makuha siya, we're going to have the measurement of angle BFE is equal to 1 half the positive difference, so lalagyan ko lang ng absolute value. Measurement of R uh, CD minus the measurement of R B E. So nilagyan ko ng absolute value sa magkabilang dulo kasi nga kukunin natin yung positive difference. Ibig sabihin, pag negative yung nakuha natin, automatic ikaw convert natin yan sa, sa positive. So we have... 1 half then the absolute value of uh, yung measurement ng arc CD natin is equal to 40 degrees minus yung arc uh, BE naman natin is equal to 135 degrees so 1 half of 40 minus 135 so 40 minus 135 that would be equal to negative 95 so, since negative yung sagot, pukunin natin yung absolute value niya. So, the absolute value of negative 95 is equal to positive 95. Kaya yung mag magiging answer natin is positive 95 degrees. Then finally, pukunin natin yung kalahati ni 95 degrees. So, 1 half of 95 is equal to 47.5 degrees. So, ibig sabihin nito, yung angle BFE is equal to 47.5 degrees. Third theorem, if a second and a tangent intersect in the exterior of the circle, then the measure of the angle form is one half the positive difference of the measures of the intercepted arcs. And for our third theorem, yung dalawang involved naman na lines dito ay isang second line at isang tangent line. So, kung mapapansin natin yung second line natin dito sa circle D, we have the second line O, B. Okay? Yung tangent line naman natin, we have O, C. Again, pag sinabi natin tangent line, nag intersect siya sa circle at exactly one point. Pag second line naman, nag intersect siya sa circle at exactly two points. So, yung point of intersection niya would be point A and point B. So, to continue, if the measurement of arc BC, ito, itong arc na ito, Kung ang arc BC daw na ito is equal to 160 degrees at ang arc dito, we have AC, kung 80 degrees ito, what would be the degree measurement of angle BOC? So again, yung angle na involved dito ay nabuo dahil sa intersection ng isang second line at isang tangent line. Okay, so yung point of intersection nila should be outside the circle. So yung point of intersection nila ay nasa point O. Again, ilalagay ulit natin, 160 degrees, itong isang intercepted arc, at itong arc naman, AC, is equal to 80 degrees. And we're going to look for this angle. So yung angle natin would be BOC. Now, to look for this angle, all we need to do is just similar to theorem number 2. Again, kung ito yung angle natin, yung dalawang intercepted arcs niya would be this one at this one. So, we're going to use the same formula with theorem number 2. So, it would look like this. The measurement of angle BOC is just equal to 1 half the positive difference. So, ilalagay ko muna sa absolute value. The positive difference of the two intercepted arcs. R BC minus R A C. Okay? 
i-adjust ko lang, 1 half, then RBC or the measurement of RBC is equal to 60 degrees or 160 degrees and the measurement of arc AC is equal to 4, is equal to 80 degrees so we have 1 half 160 minus 80 that is equal to 80 degrees so positive na siya pwede natin tanggalin yung absolute value na sign natin then kukunin natin yung kalahati ni 80 degrees so 1 half of 80 degrees is equal to 40 degrees so it follows na yung measurement ng angle BOC, itong angle na ito, is just equal to 40 degrees. And our fourth theorem states that if two tangents intersect at the exterior of a circle, then the measure of the angle formed is one half the positive difference of the measures of the intercepted arcs. For example, we have circle P. The theorem na ito, yung involved naman ay dalawang tangents. So, we have the first tangent line which is line Y, W. At yung pangalawang tangent line naman natin, we have line Y, X. So, again, both of them intersects the circle at exactly one point. Now, what if, if the measurement of the arc W, T, X is equal to 220 degrees? Okay, dito na part. Itong W, T, X is equal to 200 is equal to 220 degrees at yung measurement naman ng arc WX is equal to 140 degrees and ito naman yung arc WX so we have here 140 degrees then what would be the degree measurement of angle WYX again yung angle na involved dito ay nabuo dahil sa intersection na dalawang tangent lines so again yung Dalawang tangent lines, yung point of intersection nila ay nasa exterior ng circle, which is point 1. So, paano ba natin kukunin yung angle na ito, or degree measurement ng angle WYX? So, kung mapapansin ninyo yung situations or yung theorem for number 2, 3, and 4, ay same lang yung uh, way of solving nila. We need to get the positive difference of their intercepted arcs. Then after that, we're going to divide it by 2 or kukunin natin yung 1 half. So, gamit yung formula, we have the measurement of angle WYX is equal to 1 half the positive difference of R WTX. So, ito yung first intercepted arc niya. Minus, again, ito yung first intercepted arc. Minus, the second intercepted arc is this one. Okay, so kung ito yung reference angle natin, yung dalawang intercepted arc niya would be yung nakat niya na arc, or yung na-intercept niya na arc. We have WTX and WX. Okay, WX. Okay, so substitute lang natin yung mga given. We have one half. The degree measurement of WTX is equal to 220 degrees. And the degree measurement of WX is, or arc WX is equal to 140 degrees. So simplify lang natin. So, one, uh, so 220 minus 140, that would be equal to 80 degrees. And one half of 80 degrees is equal to 40 degrees. So, yung degree measurement ng angle WYX is equal to 40 degrees. For our last theorem, we have if a second and a tangent intersect at the point of tangency, then the measure of each angle form is one half the measure of its intercepted arc. And for our last theorem, we have here circle M. So, yung dalawang lines na involved dito ay isang second line at isang tangent line. So, yung tangent line natin dito is si line RT at yung second line naman natin is si second line PS. So, if the measurement of arc PVS, itong arc na PVS, so, ibig sabihin dito na arc, that would be equal to 280, suppose, and 
Yung measurement naman ni RPS, ito naman sa baba, RPS, suppose it is equal to 80 degrees, then we are going to look for the measurement of RPS or angle RPS, RPS, itong angle na ito, itong angle dito, at yung degree measurement naman ni angle SPT, SPT, dito naman na angle. So, pag ang involve ay isang second line at isang tangent line and yung point of intersection nila ay nasa point of tangency or a point on the circle. So, ito yung point of intersection ng dalawang line natin. We have point P. Then, in order for us to solve for the angle form, all we need to do is to get the one half of its intercepted arc. So, dalawa yung solve natin. So, suppose we're going to solve first for angle RPS. So, kukunin lang natin yung palahati ng intercepted arc niya. So, kung mag-base tayo dito sa angle RPS, dito sa angle, yung intercepted arc niya would be RPVS. Right? So, kukunin lang natin yung palahati ng degree measurement ni R P V S. So, since given na yung value na which is equal to 280 degrees, then, i-divide lang natin by 2. So, 1 half of 280 degrees, that would be equal to 140 degrees. So, yung first angle natin, si angle RPS is equal to 140 degrees. So, what about angle SPT? So, same pa rin yung gagawin natin, kukunin lang natin yung kalahati ng intercepted arc. So this time, pag yung reference angle natin is si SPT, yung intercepted arc naman niya would be RPS. Okay? So the measurement of RPS. Then, isa substitute lang natin. The measurement of RPS is equal to 80 degrees. And, kalahati nun is equal to 40 degrees. So, the degree measurement of angle SPT is just equal to 40 degrees. Now it's your turn. Try to answer the following questions. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.